Hello guys, Wackamalt from Wackamalt's Build here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a residence protection to be able to sell your residence or rent it. Um, so you can see here, I've already got uh, a couple residences made. I'm actually going to remove those real quick. Res remove, rent one, slash res confirm. And so let's do res remove by one. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to run through making these uh, these selections, and I go over this in a lot more detail in one of my uh, in the previous residence video. So watch that if you don't know how to do this. Um, you set these up exactly the same way. Uh, you just select the two points. Um, now you'll notice I'm leaving a gap in front of my building here, which I recommend doing anyway because you don't want people placing dirt right in front of your house, uh, which they could do if you don't have a border around it. Um, but doing this also allows me to have space to place a sign inside here uh, because we have an add-on plugin for uh, the rentals and uh, for sale places that will let you put a sign in there that people can easily just right click to buy or rent the place that you're selling so very useful and I recommend leaving space here if not uh, you can still place a sign and you can use it, but you have to manually type in the information on the sign, which is a little tedious. So, Okay, so we've got our selection here. I'm just going to do slash res create rent one. So this will be the residence that we will be setting up to be rented. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and make the other protection too that we'll be using to do uh, using to do the house for sale sort of scenario. Again, I'm leaving the space in front. And you'll notice too here, I made the walls double thick in the center here, and that is so that each residence can have one full wall, because if, uh, if I didn't do that, like say this whole piece was gone, then the people who were renting this house wouldn't be able to, like say, hang paintings on the walls. Um, because technically that wall is owned by this group. So just take note of that. No, you might want to sort of double up your walls if you're planning on making a rental place. Okay, so that one I will just do slash res create by one. Okay, so those are both uh, just regular protections now. You can see we get the standard entry and exit messages, but uh, they're not set up yet to be um, rented or sold. So. So what you have to do to make it a sellable or rentable place, uh, let's do the rent first. We'll do slash res market, and then you type in um, rentable. Then you type in the name of the residence, so rent one. And then you want to set up the the cost. So we'll, we'll just charge 100, and then the next number is per how many days. So it's 100 bucks every day. If I wanted to do monthly, then there you go. That would be 100 bucks a month. Okay, we're going to do that. And then lastly, you want to define whether or not this will automatically renew once the rental period is done. Uh, so this would be uh, someone rents your house, and then say you had it a monthly rent. Well, after that month is up, do they automatically get charged the next month and continue being the owner? Or do they stop being the owner and they'll have to go out and click on the sign again or type in the command again? So I recommend, I recommend keeping this true in most cases just so the, uh, the renter doesn't have to worry about it. Especially with how easy money is to get on our server, I don't think anyone's really going to care. Okay, so there we go. Residence rent one is now for rent. And if somebody wanted to rent that from me, all they would have to do would be uh, slash res market rent and then the name of the rent uh, of the rental um, in this case rent one rent one and then lastly they can type in true or false if they want it to renew or not so you can do a you know sort of a default setting but they can override it if they want if they don't want it to automatically renew um, in this case we'll do true Granted, I can't rent my own land, but that would be the command. Okay. But there is an easier way. People don't have to type in a command. You can actually set up a sign for them so that they can easily just right-click on the sign and they'll be the owner. So that's pretty cool. Um, so how you do that is uh, 
Now, if you remember when I set this up, I left a space in front of the building. That's so that when I place this sign, uh, it'll know that it's inside of the residence, and it'll actually sort of automatically fill in the information for me. So all I have to do, if I've done that, is uh, type in a square bracket, then the word rent with a capital R. I'm not sure if the caps matters, but that's how they show it on the site. And then that's it. I just hit done, and absolutely nothing happens for some reason. I'm oh, sorry, I think I'm banished currently. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so slash rent. And done. And there you go. And you can see it automatically filled in all that information for me. Now, if if you didn't have the space inside of your protection, like say I wanted to place this sign elsewhere, or maybe I want to place it right here, which is outside of that protection box that I made, uh, I'm going to have to manually type in all that information. So you would still just type, you'd start off with the rent, uh, and then you give it the cost, we'll do 100, slash, 1, slash, true or false. It's the exact same parameters you set up in the command. So that's saying 100, uh, $100 per one day, and it will automatically renew. Okay, and then the next line you would have to type in the name of the residence exactly. And there we go. So this one still works. It's not inside of the residence, but it still works exactly the same. But you just had to take a little more work because we didn't, we weren't able to place it inside of the residence. So, okay. So this sign would work. I can't show you that it would work just because I can't rent from myself. Oops. Well, a number of arguments. Huh. Okay, that might be a bug because you saw that just worked last time. Um, but now for some reason it's expecting the, uh, the rest of the information. Um, so if you run into that, uh, that's why, I guess. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that one works, and anyone could now walk up to this and uh, right-click on that sign, unlike me placing the sign on it, and they could actually rent this. Now, we do have uh, LWC protection on stuff, so by default, your sign might actually be protected in a way that they can't click on it. Uh, so to make sure that that's not the case, you might have to type in slash C remove on the sign and then punch your protection. And now it's uh, now it's unlocked and anyone can use that. And it still says that it's locked by me. That's very weird. Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that. And if we have trouble, I'll fix it. <laughs> Okay, so next up we're going to set up the uh, set up the for sale one. This one's substantially easier to do. Um, so again, we've already got the the protection set up on this. So all we have to do is do slash res market sell, and then the name by one, and then the price. There you go. Buy one is now for sale for two thousand. And Again, if you place it inside of the protection, this will be much easier. All you have to do is type in for sale inside of the square brackets with a capital F and S is how they showed on the site. And it, you can see it um, again automatically fills in all that information for you. If not, again, if you place it outside of the protection, you'll have to type in for sale, then the price, and then the name, I one. There you go. Buy one available. And anyone can come up to this and buy it now. Now, I'm going to destroy all this stuff because these buildings suck and uh, nobody will want, want to rent them. But feel free to use those. Uh, we've already got, looks like Guru9898 is already trying to rent a tower here. And uh, yeah, so you guys uh, make, make use of this stuff, make some money, and uh, make some cool apartments or something. All right, thanks guys. If you have any trouble, as usual, uh, ask me in game or leave a comment on the video. See ya.